we are at Deutsch a very data-driven um, organization and try to urge our clients to be that way, and particularly when you're dealing with clients that are very nervous about entering into new platforms. Sherwin-Williams is a traditional company. They've been doing marketing for years, but as you start to talk to them about mobile and digital placements, they get a little anxious and nervous about what might work. Let data prove it out for you. We used that pathway that you saw before and all the support materials to show them this is where we needed to be, particularly on Purdy. We had to reach three different constituents, Hispanics, DIYers, and pros. Hispanics were only using their mobile device. When you're looking at Hispanic painters, they are not sitting behind a computer, they're not sitting at home, they're on their mobile device. Same with pros, they're not in an office. Um, so as we looked at where we were gonna buy and place that content that we created, it was mobile driven and that was a hard sale for our clients. My southern accent just came out. Um, and then also for Purdy, when we look at joining the conversation versus creating the conversation, people weren't talking about what paintbrush do I use? What painting tool do I use? That was happening so far um, beyond after they spent 103 days picking out their paint. It was an afterthought. It was while they were in the store. So when we were looking at how do we educate our consumers about the importance of paintbrushes, we didn't try to create a conversation of um, let's start an entire channel about why is paint why are pa with paintbrushes. It was let's insert ourselves where people are already talking about paint. So we went from a contextual standpoint, our media placements that were targeting both the pros and the DIYers, uh, where people were talking about color consideration and that overall paint selection process, that's where we inserted the brand. You're going to be hard pressed to create a new conversation in the world of paint, um, as with a lot of products, and so we started joining ones that already existed. The other thing we wanted to share was giving people something to care about. That becomes a utility. When we thought about Krylon, they'd been saying for years to spray paint stuff and make it prettier and shinier and glittier and glassier. Uh, but we had to give them people a reason to care. When we did the yard sale, not only were we taking the product on the road and people could actually engage with it, but they were also able to buy those products. And then all of that money went to charity. When we added that charity angle in there, uh, the Pinterest yard sale took off. It was the first time Pinterest had done it. Um, you could do it off of your mobile device. Um, and that to us proved as a huge utility to drive eyeballs back to something that people previously didn't care a lot about. And then our last key takeaway is really about driving that shareability. And with Purdy, it wasn't just pushing out our long form video um, in those contextual environments. It was really providing snippets that people could share easily, especially on their mobile devices. So that's where it was really important for us to have 15 and 30 second cut downs of um, the long form video that was easily bite-sized snippets of video.